Hola! I need a refresher because I've been away for a week, but I, I, I don't know. It feels like a month. I miss these girls and I missed you guys. What did I miss exactly? I want you guys to let us know. Triple one, triple four, triple one is our SMS line, and it's only a shilling to send a text to Mina Zingoja to Mina Kwapa Karibu 1750. Hey, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello, Hi. how you doing? Hi. See Hi. your pretty head down. We are about to entertain. My name is Nana Owiti. Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> well, she was away. She became a rapper. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, you know who? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say what she says, how it's transmitted. Uh, yeah, Not no, right now, no, but no. yeah, it can be transmitted. How are mm -hmm. you guys? How have you been? I know it's my week off, but I'm holding it down for Kush today. And then I take my week off. Probably Nikki Rudy, since I need to refresh our course. But today we have an amazing show lineup for you. So, Karibuni Sana, I am Mikali Mary. Good evening, beautiful people. How you guys doing this Monday? I know the weather sucks. I know. I feel you. But tukona chai moto ya kukaribisha. So mulete mandazi, na mulete mkate. Whatever you have. We, had, we have some hot tea for you today. And also we do love to hear from you. Let us know where you're watching us from. At Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And Switch TV KE on Instagram. I am Joyce Miner. Hey. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Hey, Mauti Kara. Hey, Kali. The Kamba in you is out today. It is mm. thriving. It is the thriving. The Kamba is it reggae vibes. Yeah. Nizote, nizote. I think we're going to find the vibes here. It's just like, we need to know the colors. Ni makala maingi. Hey, maingi u makala. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those ones, yeah, those, those. I missed you for real. Like I know, we missed you too. I, I feel I have attachment issues. <laughs> you really do it. How are they? Are they okay? I do, I do. Yeah, because Nana will even like, comment on like all the stories when she's not there she'll comment on all my Insta stories or like or like reply to like one at uh, ten times i'm like okay cool i get it i miss you too girl <laughs> yeah. it looks like you guys had an interesting weekend yeah, yeah it was nice yeah, it was yeah, fun for a wedding <laughs> like you guy my guy you guy my guy vasha today hey from vasha i'm from vasha you guy my guy are you guy my guy yeah that plan <laughs> and that plan for the next weekend we're going to vasha yeah, no, we're going vasha to a vacation uh -huh. so, I mean, yeah, it was so nice uh, and then you instagram at just minor and on that <laughs> note guys we have the hot popping stories for today yes and i do have the first tea cup teapot tea thermos <laughs> like the miss jikamona need mandazi i'm talking about uh maureen yt2 who's a vlogger and frankie just jimmy who is an ex ex fiance they were dating before let mm. me let me take you back a little bit these people are dating and they have two beautiful kids together but then they had to break up and after like people moved on well maureen moved ako to i don't know if she's d dating anyone but uh frankie carrier aka frankie just jimmy is definitely moved on nasi moved on pregnant with another bed over there wako na mtu mwingine already asha come so these two have been having issues like on social media and they call out each other like right now kwanza especially right now because uh, ju uh, just jimit alienda on insta i think social media and she said that she's not allowed to see he's not allowed to see his kids and up on your i think ali fiat ali alikozinda you know what by the way sasa morin akatengeneza a whole 41 minute vlog on wow. youtube a address the nation aki address kiarie aki address everybody aki sema what has been happening uh, behind the scenes mm. and a couple of things she brought up were like the, the reasons as to why probably she didn't let uh, Frankie see the kids not like she did it alikuwa nasema ame akuziwa so Frankie akasema I wanted to take her like the, the son was turning five years old mm -hmm. and akakatazwa kuenda kuona uyo mtui mm -hmm. and akamwambia you know what you don't want me to see the kids so this is what you do vacate that house yeah. and she was given she was given a month a month a notice to vacate the house and she moved out and of course she had already like a little how it was looking really nice and there's a video before I spoil it let's kindly watch it and then I'm gonna go further and explain aspect of me quote unquote being labeled and being told that I am actually refusing to let the father of my children to have access I have papers I have evidence I have screenshots of everything I have tried to do to actually bring him to become a better father I have protected him 
I have never gone online to say anything ill about him, how, whatever way you want to think. I've never sat down, but today I'm not going to protect him anymore. That's what's going to happen. Let's start. By the time he left home, I begged him to buy Lexi a little phone uh, or uh, just find a way to be calling him to call home. And since I'm the bad person and he doesn't want to contact me, he, I gave him a leeway to actually contact our nanny however often he wanted to and check up on his children. I can tell you this for a fact. He's never called home. He's never checked up on his kids other than the day he's decided like he's gonna show up. And this is what happened. From the minute we broke up, I knew things have to change. We have to get structure so that we're not in any other person's ways. And trust me, I have all the records to do that. I mean, having me try to do that. I told him, can you give me a structure in a way that we can take care of these kids? He kept telling me, I will bring, I'll bring, I'll bring. A year, four months later, I've never seen any structure. Never. We had back and forth, back and forth. At some point, he wasn't seeing those kids, especially between January and April. It would always be like you drop by every now and again, which I didn't have a problem with because I always encourage my kids to be brought up by their parents. So according to her, the first upkeep, the last upkeep was sent on August the 10th and it was 6,000 shillings. And then the, the small baby got sick. Mm -hmm. So she took the baby to the hospital around 3 a.m. in the morning. And Frankie Akambiwa the next day, well, Alikuja, mm -hmm. but Kama Mes Mama, the bill was around 70 something. She had already put like 102,000 Kenya shillings to the you know, health kitty. Mm. But of course, Aku Liza, how much did you spend? Mm. What was wrong with the child? Mm. Nothing. So, Yana yeah, accused of going to, like, Yana yeah, cause is a drama. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to the internet and mm -hmm. social media to cry for. Wow. Yeah. Where? That is a load. It's a load. I mean, but there's some foul play because I saw the same messages that she put up and the same ones that Frankie put up. There are some things that were deleted. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand why. Cause, cause so there's, there's something. There's like a screenshot mm. that was shared, mm. allegedly shared by uh, Frankie, mm. ya Maureen Akitukana Kwamboka, mm. and even that child. Even, and even Kwamboka went ahead to say something. Like, it's just so much happening. Mm. Akenda going to stories, this is what she said. Only a sick person can insult a baby, calling him a name so despicable. I can't even talk just because I had him with their ex. Mm. One day I'll open my mouth. Not everyone who says God, God is for him. She still went ahead. Drove me. You drove me out of my own house out of fear. I had to leave a house I bought with my own sweat to go into hiding because sister was driving to my house at midnight trying to, I don't know, do what to me. The man has done everything to make things work for you and you know it, and I'm not here to sound arrogant or anything. Yes, I know it may end in premium tears, but the when someone has tried, I think she was just mad, she's texting. Mm. So you talked down on me, you called me names, you insulted my child, you threatened me and harassed me. Like, it's a lot of drama. Yeah, there's so much going on. Jesus, yes. what? Way. Hey, but me, I'm like, by their social media, this is not the place. Like, I know this is not a court. Mm. Like social this is media not. is not we'll a court. We'll all listen. This we'll thing, enjoy the rant. You know, we'll read them. We'll man. have conversations to have but on nothing this will table. Be yeah. But deep down, even after all is said and done, mm. I understand where Maureen is coming from. I mean, in terms of. Mm -hmm. Uli and the social media, I mean, but at the end of the day, there's nothing that will come out of us talking or whatever. Maybe he might yeah. lose a job or two. And then spectators you, everywhere. We will watch, but we don't care. Like, it's a yeah. lot. We we like to enjoy. Mm. Like, we're all consumed from social media. To mm. check we, we're like, we'll yeah, read, it's yeah. Mm. But you will never, like, you will never ever be innocent yeah something to say you don't don't invite us to your life like that yeah, yeah. i know but i i understand why maureen would be frustrated because yeah. she hasn't said nothing for a whole year yeah. and something yeah. so but i hope they're able to like resolve this like behind closed doors